turn to page five of your iPods. Today's uh, lesson is unit six, lesson two, solving systems by graphing. There are three, three ways of solving systems, but we're solely going to focus on graphing. Now, here's the things that you need to know. Um, you need to solve for y on both equations. So, you will have two different equations, and both equations need to be y equals. Um, both, you're going to graph both equations using the y-intercept uh, slope and a table or a graph. So, those are different ways that you can graph them. And then, you're going to need to remember from yesterday, um, we are specifically looking for where they're going to intersect. So remember the intersection was x, y. So that was what we covered yesterday. So today we're going to find the solution for the problem. Okay, and you need to remember again that it's an ordered pair written as x, comma, y. Okay, so your steps um, for your calculator is you're going to have both in y, uh, in y equals one in y1 and the other in y2. You're going to look to make sure that there's an intersection. If you need to, you will have to zoom out. And then you're going to press, these are the calculator steps. So these are the, the steps for the calculator. So these are the calculator steps. So these are, or not the calculator steps, the, cal the buttons, I should say. Once you put them in, these are the buttons that you'll push. So you'll press second trace. We want the intersection, so we'll go to five. And then we're going to enter three times. And you're going to know that that's a solution based off of the word. It'll say intersection, and it'll give you an X value and a Y value. Okay, so let's look at the example that's in your book. So it says solve the system by graphing. Again, this is how we're going to solve this um, systems. <clears throat> so if you look, this second equation is already solved for y. So we're going to put that, in, that one in y2. Now this one needs to be solved for y. So from Monday, we learned we move the x change the sign, divide by the number in front of the y. So this, e this equation would be y equals um, negative 1 divided by negative 2 is 1 half. And then uh, 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. And that would go into y1. So I've already done this in my calculator. Um, so I will show you. In y1, I have 1 half x minus 2, and I have negative 2x plus 8. Okay, so here is where we're going to use these calculator steps. So we've done all the way to number 3, or number 2. We've done 1 and 2, so we'll go to number 3. Okay, so the first thing is to actually press um, the graph to make sure that you can see the two lines intersect. So hopefully everybody can see that it intersects right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press second, which is the blue button. So let me show you the keys. We're going to press second, trace. This screen will come up and you want to press the number five because we're looking for the intersection. So this is why we're pressing five. Or you can scroll down and press enter. Now here at the bottom, you'll see the word first curve. You want to press enter three times or until you see the word intersection. So if you look, here is the intersection. It intersects at four, zero. So our solution would be four, comma, zero. Now, on your EOC test, sometimes it'll ask you just for the X value. Well, the X value would be 4, or it could just ask you for the Y value, which is 0. So here's some things that I want. Um, the calculator did the graphing for you. 
So instead of making you graph these ordered pairs or um, both lines, what I'm going to have y'all do is I'm going to have y'all just kind of sketch it out. And it kind of looks something like this. And I want y'all to know that this is four zero. Okay, so I'm not going to have you graph it out exact exactly here. I'm just going to have you sketch it out. Now, one other thing that I want to talk to you about is if you can't tell where it's intersecting or if you don't want to look at the graph, you could also look at the table. Now, if you look here, our answer was four zero. So if you look, here's four zero for the blue one, which was our Y1. And our Y2 was four um, zero as well. So yesterday you should have um, learned about if it's true for both equations, then it's a, so a solution. So this is why we can consider this a solution. So on your worksheet, what I'm going to have you all do is I'm going to have you make sure that every one of these is solved for Y equals. Once you get them in there, you're going to put it in the calculator and then you're going to follow these steps. And that's all, that's all it is. Alright, so this is Solving Systems by Graphing.